You're watching NBA Now presented by Fetch Rewards. Shout out to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring our trade deadline coverage. If you want to get free gift cards, start earning uh, points by uh, scanning your receipts with Fetch. Download the app today at chatsports.com slash fetch. It's easy. You scan your receipts, you get points. Then you turn them into gift cards from places like Amazon, Starbucks, Walmart, Target, other restaurants and stores as well. 3,000 bonus points with promo code CHAT. I'm Harrison Graham. He's Chase Sr. The trace, trade deadline is done. So let's recap all these trades, Chase, shall yeah. we? And we'll go back a few days before the deadline because so, there were some notable trades here, starting with Norm Powell and Robert Covington getting traded to the Clippers. Yeah, who knows if Paul George or Kawhi Leonard play this year. It's trending in the direction where they don't play, but we know Steve Ballmer is always aggressive, and you get a scorer in Norm Powell, very good 3 and D player in Robert Covington, and the Trailblazers really reset as they try to rebuild and clear up cap space for Damian Lillard to surround him with the necessary pieces to make him happy and make another run at the playoffs. Let's go to this next one here. Cal Karis Levert to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ricky Rubio a first and a couple of second round picks. Rubio out for the season with injury. Uh, obviously the key piece here in Levert. It was reported that the Mavs were in the mix here, but ultimately Cleveland, who's ahead of schedule, adds another nice piece. Darius Garland, an all-star this year. Evan Mobley, a stud. Jared Allen balling out after that big contract. Now Karis Levert can be a hyper score as a spot starter or come in off the bench. I really like what Cleveland has been doing and their rebuilding process. It's over. They're ready to contend in the East right now. All right, let's keep it moving here. This is a big one. C.J. McCollum, they finally uh, split up Dame and C.J. in Portland. He goes to the Pelicans along with Tony Snell and Larry Nance Jr. Blazers receive Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Thomas Sadoransky, Didi Luzuda, a first-round pick, and a couple of second-round picks as well. It's the end of an era in Portland, Chase, but... Pelicans thinking long term, probably next season and beyond. Maybe Zion comes back this year with the core of Zion, CJ. Brandon Ingram, and Jonas Valanciunas. You're trying to make Zion Williamson happy, and after the Pelicans got off to a bad start, they're in 10th place, right in play for that NBA play-in tournament. They want him to stay long term. I don't think it's going to work either way, but either way, a young core of Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson with the older CJ McCollum, very good combo scoring guard. Pelicans, eh, that's a pretty good threesome right there. Fascinated to see how that ends up playing out. Who was the biggest NBA trade deadline winner? A lot more trades to break down, including the big one of Harden and Simmons. Stay tuned for that. Biggest trade deadline winner? Let us know down in the comments. Keep it moving here. This was another trade that happened before Thursday. Tyrese Halliburton and Buddy Heald, along with Tristan Thompson, to the Pacers. Uh, Demonta Sabonis, Justin Holiday, Jeremy Lamb, and a second-round pick to Sacramento. Love this for Indiana. Sabonis is a nice piece. But I don't really know what Sacramento's direction is here. Yeah, we haven't known their direction for the last two decades. I think they're <laughs> building around the wrong guard in De'Aaron Fox. Tyrese Halliburton actually wanted to stay there. Much better and shooter. in a year and a half, he's really made tremendous strides. I think he's going to be a stud young guard in this league and end up having a long NBA career. For the Pacers to get him and pair him up with Rick Carlisle, fabulous. They actually hold on to Buddy Heald as well. <laughs> and man, I mean, a backcourt moving ahead of Tyrese Halliburton and Chris Duarte, love it if I'm Indiana. And hey, if you keep healed long term, that ain't bad either. Right? Yeah. He's still a very, very young player. Uh, a three-teamer coming in here. Uh, it was uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker who got traded again. Wancho Hernan Go Gomez, Thomas Sadoransky to the Spurs along with the second. And then the Blazers absorbed Joe Ingles' contract. He's out for the season, going to be a free agent after this year. Elijah Hughes in a second-round pick via Utah. Anything stand out a part of this trade here overall, Chase? Not really. The next one that we're about to get to, a four-teamer, with yep. the Milwaukee Bucks, the headliner in it, getting Serge Ibaka. I think Milwaukee, people have slept on them. They're defending NBA champions. Why are people sleeping on the Bucks? They did need upgrades and depth in that front court. So to get Serge Ibaka, longtime veteran, he looks to be healthy coming off that back injury. I really like it. Dante DiVincenzo going to the Kings, a restricted free agent. Do they think he's going to be a part of that core? We'll see. This feels like the P.J. Tucker trade last year. Exactly it's right. It's not sexy, but Abaka will make an impact on this team. No I question. I can promise you I that. I totally He'll defend. Agree. He can space the floor. Similar role to Tucker, although they do play different positions as Abaka is more of a stretch five at this point. Appreciate Fetch Rewards for sponsoring our trade deadline coverage. We've told you guys this is an app that allows you to scan receipts and earn points for gift cards. What's also cool about it, Chase, is – like me, I do some online shopping. I like to not print out a ton of receipts because, hey, you know, it's, it's eco-friendly there. 
Digital receipts can be get you points as well. You can sync up your email address, your Amazon account with the Fetch Rewards app, and it can scan those purchases, and you can get points that way as well. Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of shopping, whether it be online or in person. Regardless, you're able to scan your receipts with the physical receipt or a digital receipt with the Fetch Rewards app, and over time, you're able to accumulate bonus points with literally every single receipt that you scan. Yes. Those bonus points allow you to get free gift cards to a lot of the key stores out there, as we've been talking about all throughout the day, earn points on any receipt from any store or restaurant, then redeem those points for gift cards and other rewards. It's a no-brainer. 3,000 bonus points by going to chatsports.com slash fetch, promo code chat. You'll be well on your way to getting free gift cards as well. Let's keep it moving here with some more trades. Uh, this one uh, was interesting. Goran Dragic to the Spurs. Think he'll get bought out. We'll see. Thaddeus Young, Drew Eubanks, and a second come back to Toronto. Protected first goes to San Antonio as well. Thad Young, really the most impact player because I think the yeah. Raptors are going to hold on to him. I don't know if the Spurs are going to hold on to Dragic. So. Raptors are a sneaky good team in the East. They're really climbing up the Eastern Conference standings. Thad Young's been getting it done for a long time. Let's get to the Celtics Magic trade. Boston made three trades today. This one wasn't that substantial. P.J. Dozier, Bull Bull, a second plus cash to Orlando. Both those guys are injured. Celtics get a future second-round pick. We'll talk about their other trades. This trade helped facilitate some other ones by clearing a little bit of cap space. Yeah, and the big trade, really, between Philadelphia and Brooklyn, we've already talked about this on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel as well as Philadelphia 76ers now, but I actually like it for both parties. Brooklyn is able to get rid of James Harden, who was disgruntled and unhappy happy in Brooklyn and for Philadelphia you're able to maximize the prime of Joel Embiid and pair him up with James Harden that one-two punch I think is going to make Philadelphia really interesting in the east and for Ben Simmons going to Brooklyn they need defense they need a facilitator they need a point guard when Kyrie Irving doesn't play Ben Simmons gives you all of that and he's one of the best defensive players in the NBA also according to Woj Ben Simmons has already talked to Kevin Durant and Sean Marks and he's pumped up to play with the Brooklyn Nets he's going to ramp up, ready to return to play with the Brooklyn Nets this year. Media impact player for Brooklyn. This feels like a turning point in the NBA. Like it, It'll be really fascinating to see how this plays out this year, but the next couple of years as well. I like it right away for uh, Philadelphia. Maybe it works out in Brooklyn as well, though. I think this could be a win-win trade, which a lot of the time one team wins it, maybe both wins it this time. Yeah. What do you guys think? Who won the trade, at least on paper? Type PHI for the 76ers. Type BKN for the Brooklyn Nets. I think in the immediate future, it's Philadelphia yeah. because we know even if Harden's not quite what he was, he's going to give you 20 and 10 at minimum. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens on that front. Get your votes in on this one. This is why you subscribe to Chat Sports because myself and Harrison Graham, we were going to go live at 1 o'clock Eastern for the NBA trade deadline. A bunch of trades came through, and we said, you know what? We're going to go live half hour, 45 minutes early, and well, we we've do. been live for the last couple of hours. This isn't all we do. We bring you the latest NBA news and rumors, trade deadline coverage, free agency. We also cover the NFL and college football. So let's get the 280,000 subscribers. Hit that red sub button for the most interactive, entertaining, and audience engagement coverage on YouTube. Keep it moving here. Uh, here was one of those other Celtics trade, Chase. Uh, Derek White comes to Boston. That's the big chip here, uh, as well as a uh, potential pick swap. San Antonio basically can decide if they want to take that Celtics first round this year or in 2028. Uh, Josh Richardson and Josh Lang or Romeo Langford also go to San Antonio. Boston betting heavily on Derek White uh, in his upside. Yeah, Josh Richardson has one more year left on his deal beyond this year, so you trade him away. And the first round pick in the deal, I didn't really love it, but Same. Derek White, he's continued to get better year in, year out. And San Antonio's done a great job of developing players. So too is Boston. And you put him in into that lineup next to JB and JT. I, I, I do like the addition for Boston. Yeah, you hope that uh, being around better players helps him out. Uh, Torrey Craig to the Suns. Jalen Smith, who, by the way, Indiana tried to flip him again, but he will stay with the Pacers. No second trade there. Uh, Torrey Craig, just depth piece for a team that's ready to Smith's win a, a former top 10 pick. So that's yeah. a nice little building block. Because Indiana, I love what they're do doing, rebuilding under Rick Carlisle. Which is new territory for Rick. Yeah. Uh, you know, they did it a little bit with Luka and Dallas, but uh, now he's going to try and – you know, play the long game in Indiana around Tyrese, or Tyrese Halliburton and some other young players. Uh, you go to this trade here, uh, Montrose Harrell to the Hornets. Shout out Mike Dibble, Vernon Carey, Ish Smith, and a future second to the Wizards. This trade got us a $100 super chat, and hey, 
I actually like Montrez. Uh, imagine him catching um, some pick and roll game from Lamelo Ball. I think that could work. Yeah, no, the pick and roll game, and then the oop game as well. Montrez Harrell, a great six man. He factors in nicely to what the Hornets want to do. They're 28 and 28 now after a hot start. They're two and eight in their last ten, and they've lost six in a row. Maybe this could help them in an area of need in that front court. Got to pick it up in a competitive East. This was a shocker. Chris Stapps, Porzingis to Washington for a future second. Spencer Dinway and Davis. Bertans come back to Dallas. Look, I'll, I'll make it simple, and I think you would agree with me, Chase. The Mavs got tired of Porzingis' injury issues. Yep. Uh, it's not personal. I think that he handled the end of last season and a new regime pretty professionally, to be fair. I think he deserves credit for that. Uh, but they got tired of it. I mean, he's been out for two and a half weeks now with a bone bruise. I mean, they just they didn't want to deal with it anymore. Hopefully, Dinwiddie and Bertans can uh, provide some depth and give uh, the Mavs flexibility moving forward. They do want to keep Jalen Brunson long term, so that, I think, weighed into this trade as well. Name a player you thought would be traded that didn't get traded. How about Jeremy Grant? Yeah, He's Jeremy stuck Grant, in Detroit. Still with Detroit. Which, Taylor Horton which Tucker, it sounded like he was actually open to. Grant only wanted to get dealt if he was going to be have a big role on a contending team. And so. maybe extended as well. One yes. more year left on this deal. Fascinated to see if Detroit extends him. Let me know. Name a player you thought would be traded. A few more trades. Aaron Holiday for cash considerations. Into the bench depth guy for Phoenix. Uh, can handle the ball a little bit. Shoot the ball a little bit as well. Uh, you get to this next one here. Here's that Celtics third trade uh, chase. Uh, Daniel Tice coming back to Boston. Obviously, he spent a lot of his career there. Dennis Schroeder, Ennis Freedom, uh, Freedom, Bruno Fernando. Freedom's already been waived, so Boston has cut him. Fernando and Schroeder could be uh, buyout candidates. Maybe Schroeder signs there long term. We'll see what the Houston Rockets do. Maybe. They have some money allocated to be able to do that. Also, when you take a look at the team like the Oklahoma City Thunder, they didn't make any deals today. They could be considered a winner. $23 million below the minimum salary floor. A lot of money to spend to continue to help that franchise Do they out. start making moves in free agency? Maybe. I yeah. think it's a possibility. I want to remind you guys to subscribe. Those were the trades here at the NBA trade deadline. I had a blast. Chase had a blast. Uh, so we're going to do this year in and year out. And hey, our NBA coverage doesn't stop just because the trade deadline is over. We'll have a buyout candidates video coming up later today as well. YouTube.com slash TV. your home for the NBA on YouTube.